Welcome to the course of Network Sanctions. I am Professor Akhtar Nadav, working as an assistant professor at NK Orchid College of Engineering and Technology, Solapur. This course is dealing with the analysis and synthesis of circuits by using different network theorems. Network theorem plays a vital role in designing and analysis of circuits. An electronic engineer must have knowledge about these theorems so that he can build a complex electronic systems. Let us see what are these theorems. So let us see the learning objective for this course. After successful completion of this course, you will be able to calculate the different parameters of a given circuit like voltage, current, impedance, conductance, etc. You will be able to design an equivalent circuit for a given one. An electronic engineer often a problem encounters to build an electronic circuit by, uh, by using given one. Here by using different theorems, we can achieve this goal. You will be also able to design own different circuits for the given parameters. Let us see the superposition theorem. It states that in any linear network containing two or more sources, the response in any element is equal to the algebraic sum of responses caused by the individual sources acting alone. Here the given circuit is containing three resistors that are 5 ohm, 3 ohm and 10 ohm. It also includes one voltage source of 20 volt and a current source of 5 amperes. Let us analyze the response in 3 ohm resistor. The current or voltage response in this 3 ohm resistor due to both sources will be equal to the algebraic sum of voltage or currents in this resistor due to the 5 ampere current source and 20 volt voltage source. Now let us prove this theorem. We are having a resistor 5 ohms, 3 ohms and another one resistor of 10 ohm one voltage source of 20 volt and a current source of 5 amperes let us find the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor due to this 20 ohm as well as due to this 5 ohm resistor so in first case, we have to activate this 20 volt voltage source and we have to deactivate this 5 ampere current source. So let us redraw this circuit when the only 20 volt source is active. Now the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor due to this 20 volt can let us denote it by as I3 dash and let us calculate that. So I3 dash will be equal to 20 divided by 5 plus 3. Here because we are having the only one voltage source and only one loop. So we are applying the simple ohms law to calculate the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor. So we will get the I3 dash is equal to 2.5 amperes. Now similarly calculate, uh, let us calculate the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor due to this only 5 ampere current source. In this case, we have to make this 20 volt source inactive. So let us draw this circuit. So to make this 20 volt voltage source inactive, we have to make it short circuit. So we are applying this short circuit. And here the only 5 ampere current source is active. Now let us determine the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor due to this 5 ampere current. Let us denote it by I3 double dash. So, to calculate this current through this I3 dash, we are using here 
the current divider rule. So I3 double dash will be equal to 5 ampere that is this applied current multiplied by this resistor divided by the total resistance in this path. So this current that is nothing but 3.125 amperes. Now as per superposition theorem, the response in this 3 ohm resistor that is the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor that will be nothing but the sum of this current due to this 20 volt voltage source and the current due to the 5 ampere current source. So this I3 will be equal to I3 dash plus I3 double dash. So that will be nothing but equal to 2.5 plus 3.125 that is equal to 5.625 amperes. Let us denote this as A. Now let us analyze this same circuit by using the nodal analysis. So let us redraw this circuit. Let us denote the voltage at this node as V and let us calculate this voltage. So applying the nodal analysis that will be equal to V minus 20 divided by 5 plus V divided by 3 and that is equal to the 5. Now after solving this you will find that this V is equal to 16.5. 875 volts. So that is nothing but the voltage at this node. So let us determine the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor. So it will be equal to the I3 that is equal to this voltage V that is 16.875 divided by this 3 ohm resistor. So that is nothing but 5.625 amperes. Let us denote this as a B. So here we have for, we have calculated that the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor due to this 20 volt as well as due to the 5 ampere and we found that it is equal to the 5.625 amperes which is nothing but the algebraic sum of the currents due to the 20 volt source and the current due to the 5 ampere source. So here A is equal to B. It indicates the superposition theorem. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more examples and theory, follow my blogs analysisofcircuits.blogspot.in.